Hello traders, welcome to Invest2.com's How To Series and this module on oscillators. Today we're going to learn about the Williams percent range or percent R. This indicator oscillates between 0 and minus 100 and gives signals of overbought conditions above minus 20 and oversold conditions below uh, minus 80. Uh, it acts similar to a stochastic oscillator but the difference is that uh, it is not smoothened. Now here's how the Williams percent range looks on a chart and as you can see we have a 14 period percent R uh, plugged into the Euro US dollar one hour chart. So this indicator can be used as a simple overbought and oversold tool uh, meaning that when the indicator is above the minus 20 area we are in overbought territory meaning that the prices that we have achieved are unsustainable to the upside and we are due to a correct for a correction the same same goes when we are below the minus 80 uh, range which means that the prices that we have reached are uh, to the downside are unsustainable and we are due for a correction okay now uh, but this is the most common way to use the uh, Williams percent range and I would say that this is actually the poorest way to use the Williams percent range so let me just get rid of uh, these um, rectangles and um, I'll show you how to really uh, profit from this incredible oscillator okay so the first thing that you should know is that uh, this oscillator should be used inside of uh, a, uh, an advanced trading system and, and if, if you are wondering how to develop your own trading system you can go through our course, uh, courses at uh, invest2.com now the best way to use this uh, oscillator is um, for long-term holds this means that you are going to use it to understand when the, where the market is going and to understand how, how long you should hold, hold on to a winning position now let's take an example and let's say that uh, you took a short position right here at the simple breakout of these lows okay uh, let me just uh, straighten this line out for you guys and uh, I'll show you where your actual entry is so this is your actual entry uh, it doesn't matter where your stop losses go it doesn't matter where your profit taking goes what matters is how you're going to use the Williams percent range to determine how long you should hold on to your position okay now uh, as you can see uh, we have uh, um, a very deep or a very steep um, drop in the Williams percent range when price drops and uh, tests this area of uh, uh, support right here now let's say that you took the short position uh, and uh, of course we are disregarding the sell signal on the Williams percent range we are just uh, talking about a sell signal that occurred with price action so what you want to do here is uh, uh, you want to read the Williams percent range okay we hit oversold uh, oversold levels which would mean uh, on a uh, normal oscillator that we have reached unsustainable levels to the downside okay and because we are in an up move it could mean that this is just a correction of the up move and we and we are due for a new high okay but we've, since we are short what we are going to do here is we are going to wait and see how uh, the Williams percent range interprets price action you can see that we moved up and the Williams percent range moved up but quickly uh, moves below the 80 level again and it does the same once more and then we have a, a huge drop okay you can see the huge drop right here at this candle and uh, I'm sorry and you can see that the Williams percent range is still in oversold territory this means that the sellers are in control and uh, these peaks on the Williams percent range are just corrective move we have a new uh, corrective or a new peak above the 80 level which most traders will consider as a buy signal but because we are using the Williams percent range in a very distinct uh, manner we attribute this for just a corrective move and as you can see we have a new dip to the downside right here then we move to the upside 
and when I'm sorry and when we reach uh, uh, over over but terri uh, territory again you can see that we are actually testing these highs again and this is was just another corrective move so uh, the the move of the Williams percent range to the upside was attributed for just a profit taking on the seller side maybe or uh, some actual buyers that try to uh, push price up but as you can see right here on the Williams percent range uh, uh, we break with the minus 20 barrier twice and then we dropped sharply and when we drop sharply so does price and we are still holding on to our winning position and uh, uh, I mean because this is a highly dense area you could have closed your trade here for a nice 240 pips and if you just had um, normal targets you might had uh, you might just uh, made uh, 55 pips on the trade but by using correctly the the Williams percent range you were able to lock in a further 180 pips now if you want to learn more about uh, the uh, Williams percent range or about uh, how to develop your own trading system you, or you can go to our uh, advanced technical analysis course at investu.com slash advanced technical analysis